Hello and welcome again. As a whole, right? The first stage here clears the LCD screen of the Lego robot, then displays light percentage of the value of the light sensor, and we have another if statement under that, stating that when the light value is less than the grayscale the gray thresholds then the motor b and the motor c speed is set to 120. then we have b and c to set forward and backwards and it slips then we set the speed again to 40 for, for motor b deciding making that robot to turn to left We've got else stating for white threshold is less than the light value, which makes the robot to turn right, setting the speed at first to 120 and later to 40. We got the next else statement for the LCD setting to display the motor for to go forward, which makes the motor to go forward using the motor B and motor C, which is the left and right motors. And we've got the last but not the least is the LCD drawing the final value of the light sensor and then slips. Then ends the program which makes the motor to stop moving, clears the LCD program, then plays the sound for exiting the program and then finishes. Right, from here on, we can now move on to the compilation of the program itself using command line interface. We've got the command prompt because you need to open the command prompt. And the command prompt in that you're going to be entering the directory of which the lego file is going to be and just to show you what a command prompt looks like this is what it looks like okay so in the command prompt after selecting entering the directory you have the lego file in you type in nxjc dot lego dot java or whatever name the java file you've, you've, you've developed is so this command creates a file called lego.class and then we've got another command that links the ledger's library to the, le to the, LEGO, the lego java file we've got and the command is nxj link space dash v space the lego name space dash o make sure it's o because most people make the mistake of uh, putting zero and the last but not least is space lego dot java file the java file you've got and this command creates a file called lego dot nxj and then to upload the nxj file this one to the flat to the lego machine you enter nxj upload space lego dot nxj and that uploads the lego nxj file which is executable for the lego machine into the lego machine after adding it to the lego machine then you need to run it from the box after running it then you can just have fun with it Right, these steps I've gone through are very useful for customizing your bit of Java. So if you want to develop whatever else you want to develop for the Java product, you can develop anything you want. So, I hope the process of the demonstration has been really helpful. Thank you for listening. Bye.